Yes! A new Smash character added to the game. What the? Why are you angry? Cause Minecraft Steve was added to the game. Huh? But I haven't gotten any of my characters yet, and this is probably one of my favorite DLCs in the game. It could have been my favorite character. Minecraft Steve. You know, I can't even believe I'm making a video of Steve and Smash. This pick is probably the craziest thing everyone thought. Even the people who wanted him in didn't believe this happened. That's how fake this feels. But welcome to Smash Ultimate in version 9.0, where reality doesn't have a meaning in this game anymore. Steve from Minecraft was added to Super Smash Bros on the 13th or 14th of October depending on where you live. I woke up at 5.30am to download the update, and it seemed like the servers were better this time around. That's good. It took 9 versions of the game, but we made progress. So in traditional fashion with these videos, I'll start with Steve's moveset. He uses his sword as a jab, forward smash, neutral air, and side tilt. This move is pretty fast and holding the attack button is enough to start a combo. He uses the pickaxe when he dash attacks, forward and backwards aerial, and when he mines. We'll get to mining later. His axe is used for his up tilt and up air, and the fire objects are used with up smash, which is a magma block, and down smash which is a lava bucket, and down tilt, which is flint and steel. For side special, he goes on a minecart. Depending if you have redstone, you can go fast with it. This can trap people, trigger pressure plates for TNT, and has an active hitbox when you're riding it. Down special is the TNT. It deals a lot of damage. If you hold down special, you can place redstone, and when you let go, you place a pressure plate. There are a couple of ways to ignite the TNT. If you step on the pressure plate, it ignites. When it comes to contact with fire, it ignites. If you hit it, it will start to ignite. And if you do nothing with it, it will start to ignite. Up specially uses the elytra wings. This is the first time since Brawl where a character can glide. If you move up and down while you're in the elytra, you can go further. It isn't as broken as Brawl Meta Knights, but since people are so used to this not existing, it's somewhat hard to punish this. And for neutral special, there are three different moves. When you're grounded, you can mine. When you mine, you get materials that you can use as blocks, use redstone, or upgrade your tools with. When you're near a crafting table, you can craft new tools if you have the materials for it. And if you're airborne, you'll place down a block. You can place down a block mid-air which is something you can't do in Minecraft. The materials you can get when mining is dirt, wood, stone, redstone, iron, gold, and diamond. Every stage in the game was changed to work when placing blocks and also has a specific material it would usually give you. With wood, stone, iron, gold, and diamonds, you can upgrade your tools. With redstone, you can place down a wiring for the TNT or go faster on a minecart. You can place down dirt, wood, stone, and iron blocks, and you can make TNT using dirt. And that sums it up for Steve's moveset. The new stage that was added is called Minecraft World. I wonder what game it's from. There are 8 different variants to this stage. Each has a different platform placement, a different structure, and takes place at a different biome. For easy purposes, I'll just show each variant like this. It doesn't really have crazy stage hazards. I guess the only hazards are the blocks that are in your way. You can simply break them, and they won't regenerate. With stage hazards off, the stage is kind of like Kalos with different variants. I do like the look of the stage. I don't think it will be tournament legal for some dumb reason, but then again, I don't make the rules. Before this update, version 8.1 came out. This update was honestly a pretty big one. A new smaller variant of Battlefield was added, which is intended for one-on-one -on -one matches. Now the three Battlefields and Final Destination can play any song from the game. There is a random Omega and random Battlefield option on the stage select. And finally, they added some rank score thingy for online, but that's only exclusive to the Japanese version of the game. Like always, new DLC, new music and spirits.
Steve has 7 music tracks with him, 6 remakes and 1 norm. Why though? Some of these songs are from Minecraft, some are from Minecraft Dungeons, and some are from Minecraft Earth. But sadly, none of the iconic classic Minecraft music you remember is in this game at all. There are two pages for the Minecraft spirits, but the second page has only one spirit. That really does it for Minecraft Steve. I guess he has all the different alts? But that's all. With this DLC, the ninth version of Super Smash Bros Ultimate is out. Some balances were made to some characters, and new Mi costumes came along. This time, the crazy character doesn't really exist in this way, but the Bomberman costume technically follows the same rules as the other Mii costumes. This is actually the first time you could change the colors of a Mii costume for the DLC costumes. The Bomberman costume is literally just the assist trophy model with different assets. I honestly like it. And that's the Steve update. Small Battlefield was added an update before, but I thought it was better to include it in this video. I'm surprised of how many people are actually angry about this character coming into the game. Violet, I get. But Steve? I don't know, man. Steve added to this game is the craziest thing that will ever happen to this game. Speaking of adding new characters to the game... That's right, it's that time again. I've been going at this all wrong. Choosing characters that would fit into the game, but wouldn't really bring anything new to it. So that's why I changed the characters I would have normally put. This time, I think Kazuma Kiryu from Yakuza, Reimu from Toho, Phoenix Wright from Ace Attorney, Arle or Aruru, which is her Japanese name, from Puyo Puyo, will come to this very game. Such an interesting choice of characters. They all can have a gimmick. But I don't know about Aruru. Maybe while you're camping, you have a HUD with Puyo Puyo in it, and the more you're winning, you get stronger. That's really it. This is probably my third favorite DLC character I like playing, with Joker and Terry being the others. Now why the heck are people mad about this? 